Hello, Team Gallo. It's your favorite coach again, Coach Rigo. And we're gonna be going over some more dummy drills for your at-home practice during a pandemic. Keep you safe, I guess. <laughs> okay, so uh, today we're gonna do some butterfly stuff with our dummies, okay? I know a lot of people don't have a lot of room inside their house, you know, would they? But try to move the coffee table, try to move the sofa, whatever you gotta do, you know, consider that a workout in its own, okay? So we're gonna be working out with our dummy today. If you don't have one, we have a video on how to make one. So you can check that out. Um, the only problem is that dummy does not have a head. But unless you put a teddy bear inside, you'll figure it out, you watch the video. Anyway, uh, today we're working on some butterfly drills, okay? It's something similar that we used to work out in the gym here, and it's just to develop that system, okay? Now a butterfly system, okay, you get your butterfly hooks in, there's sweeps that happen there, there's a lot of things that can happen. Uh, we're gonna go over a couple different things, okay? So, okay, so I'm a big fan of like movement drills and things like that, like kind of more like a dynamic exercise. Um, this is something that I like to do. Um, it just kind of gets your body moving in a way that you wouldn't expect, plus it kind of gets the fear out of your body. You know what I mean? The more, the more times you do this. And it's a very simple thing. It's basically just a headstand and you're gonna rock over top. We do this a lot in the gym already. Uh, for some of you guys, you will know this right away. So all we're gonna do is I have my dummy. You can use your dummy, you can use a partner, you can use some sofa cushions, whatever you got at home. Something soft that you can roll over top of. A uh, Swiss ball works really good. Um, that's something I use like to play with if you have one. I mean, you can probably buy one, uh, let's say uh, Winners, if you got a Winners or something like that, or uh, Walmart or something like that, you can buy a Swiss ball. And that's those yoga balls that you see. Uh, you can do this exercise, and I can show you a couple of workouts that I do later in a different video, and a couple of things I like to do with, this, with the Swiss ball, but for this, is I'm gonna be right next to it, I'm gonna put my hands down to the mat, and my head is gonna go over to the floor. And I'm basically just gonna push myself over. So I get my head just like this, and I'm gonna kick over. And I end up on the other side of it, okay? And you can do this back to back, just going for it, okay? Boom. Okay? So that's gonna be a good little first little workout. If you feel like you're gonna get dizzy, don't worry about it. Usually the slower you go, the more, that's gonna happen, okay? All right, stay tuned for the next one. So I set up my dummy nice and long, as much as I can, and we're gonna hit up some crush passes here, okay? So, I don't know if it's actually called a crush pass. Anyway, that's what we call it. We're gonna put our head right into the armpit, okay? And hands on either side of the body, okay? So the head goes into the armpit, one hand on the mat, the other hand can go on the other side of the belly on the, on the right here, okay? So right here, and I'm gonna kick over the inside leg, not the outside leg inside leg over okay same thing on the other side make sure your head goes down to the mat boom inside leg over if you want to you can go nice and high just be careful you don't fall over okay you want to clear the legs on this one you don't want to be caught into a half guard situation so this is a nice little pass that you can do you see in high level this is old school jiu-jitsu works every time okay guys try that out Remember, each exercise should be done for at least one minute, minimum, okay? Try that out, all right? Another one I'd like to do is just, it's, it's very simple. We're just basically using our dummy as a kind of a workout device. So we're gonna go ahead, if he's got a gi, you can grab the gi. If you don't, you're gonna have to kind of scoop the armpits. So he's got a gi on him, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the gi. I basically wanna drag him from one side to the other as fast as I can and do a couple pumps. So I like to do like five quick ones, okay? Grab right here, I'm gonna do one, two, pull, one, two, pull, one, two, pull, and then one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go around the other side. I know a lot of guys have a lot of room in their living rooms, but try to do it up. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, okay? You're gonna go up to five, whatever you like. So something like this, it depends on how much room you have, okay? So if you have a lot of room, go all the way to the end. Bring it all the way back. Hit five, four, whatever you can do, but try to do it for a minute, at least, okay? Most of these drills, I like to do four sets. So I do the same drill four times. I'm just going one to the other, to the other, to the other, and then doing it all again four times, okay? Each one is a minute, okay? Try that. Okay, so I got my dummy. He's got a key on, uh, but it's not gonna really matter too much, okay? But if you wanna throw a key on your dummy, go ahead. I know that uh, for the younger crowds, you have a smaller key, you got, you know, kids, whatever, they have smaller gear. Probably not gonna fit the dummy. So you're probably gonna have to try putting on like a, an older jacket from your parents or stuff like that. You can do that. Um, same thing with the more slender folks at Team Gallo. Throw on a bigger jacket on this guy, whatever, it doesn't matter, something you can grab on. Um, 
we're gonna do some butterfly hooks. Now, before I start getting in my way again, you're gonna wanna get your feet, okay? In between the legs, okay? You wanna insert them in between, okay? I know it's kind of a weird situation, but we're gonna kind of make a V with our shins here. If, you're, if your dummy does have a gi, you can use that to kind of prop them up. But if you don't, you could actually just go into a double underhook on both sides, see how that works. Feet are through the middle, and I have this guy right here. Now, depending on how much room you have, you might be going back and forth. But what I really want you to do is just, you can hook onto your dummy, okay? You can gable grip, however you like to walk up here, I like to do that script myself, a script, okay? Just like that. So I like to rotate back, okay? And as, as I kick forward, he lands, and I do a butt scoot in, okay? The same idea is basically this, okay? Rock back, forward, scoot. Scoot, okay? That's the general move, motion that you're gonna be using here, okay? So I'd like you guys to do this for one straight minute, okay? For more advanced guys, you can do it in a minute and a half, too, okay? And we're just gonna be rocking back, scooting. You reach the end of your living room, it's okay to just turn that guy right around and continue. Okay, nice little workout. Okay, now, step two. With our butterfly hooks in, okay, we can do this for a minute as well. I'm basically gonna rock back and kind of flick them off to one side. As I rock back, okay, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep either underhooks or I can grab sleeves, whatever makes you happy, and I'm just gonna flick them, okay? Like this, one leg is gonna kick up. So as I rock back, so, and I flick over, okay? Then go right into mount. Typically is what usually happens in a situation like this. Or I can just continue to pull them back on top, okay? My main clothes guard, get my feet into the middle, okay? And I flick the other way, okay? I can fall back in, get my feet back in, flick the other way. One minute, just flick it, okay? And all that is, is I'm rotating back, and I'm kind of going off to one side. So rotate back, flick. Rotate back, flick, okay? Pretty simple stuff. One minute each, okay? So you do your butterfly push, back and forth, and then you can do these sweeps, left and right. One minute, more advanced guys, go bust up the two, all right? So the next little technique, we're gonna start developing this into a little bit of a chain. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do that little bit of a butterfly sweep off to one side, and I want you to continue to pull them out, okay? So if I'm going off to one side, I'll flip towards the camera here. As it comes over, I get on top. So now I'm in a full mount position, okay? Once in the full mount position, I want you to chain, don't just stay, okay? What I'm gonna be doing, pull back a little bit from the camera. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be transitioning right into an arm bar situation, okay? I know he's a dummy, so you're going to have to like fold his arms across, okay? I know they're going to be all flopping, right? Just pick him up, put him down. So typically, a lot of arm bars are done different, different ways. I like to do this sim simple way, kind of pinning an arm, putting a lot of pressure on the guy, and stepping up to his head. And I'm basically, basically like this. Okay? This is how I'm sitting on the dummy. Arms, one foot goes right by the head, okay? Now I'm controlling on one arm, I'm just holding onto the material or the wrist itself, okay? Once it's here, hand's gonna remove off to one side, okay, you're gonna throw in that. Now I'm gonna turn at the same time. So basically, I eventually wanna face this way, okay? Now, if I do a step-by-step, -step, some guys are like, hey, scoot up, get to here, set it up, you know? But from here, once my foot goes up, my hand comes up, squirrel off to the side. Okay. That's gonna put a lot of weight on my hand here, putting all my weight on that hand, leaving my free leg here, the one not by his head, nice and light. So I can start to, if you're not flexible, you can kind of walk it around, but I like to swing it. So I got all my weight on that hand. This is kind of how I am. You know, if you're watching TV, pretty much what it looks like, okay? Once I'm on that hand, right, I have my grip, and I'm basically just putting all my weight on that one hand, swinging my leg over and sitting down anyway. Very, very simple. So once I'm here, okay, I'm pressing both hands in, that's fine. I'm gonna step over to the head, hands to the mat, and I'm just gonna swing into it. Just like that. 
Make sure knees are together and tight. Okay? You don't have to cross your feet or anything like that. Okay? The nice thing with this is that usually the arm that I was pinning usually gets trapped underneath that initial leg. So it's hard for him to connect his hands. It does happen sometimes. Um, it's hard to show on a dummy how the hand grip fighting works, and we'll, we'll cover that later when I get a live person in here. But knees together, feet together, okay? Pinching, should be really tight. If you find that you're too far away from your dummy, there's no arm bar here. This is like a wrist lock or something. I'm not too sure what that is, okay? If you find yourself far away from the dummy, it's okay, just scoot in. Control the arm, you can put your hand back and scoot in. Okay, that'll get you the position that you need. Now, when you're selecting the arm, I want you guys doing the prop. Okay, sit back and bridge. Nice and high to hold it for five. Okay, so I usually put my feet either on the mat, and if I have short legs, right on him and up. Okay, so that whole process. Dummy, there we go. Butterfly, sweeper. I continue to full mount. Okay, right here in full mount. Collect the arm, push it both in, and I'm gonna step up nice and high, right to there, covering that arm, okay? Now, hand off, and walk that foot around the face, pushing away on the mat, collecting, pinching, and down, and then raising to the sky. That should get you your arm bar, okay? I'm gonna show you a little bonus move for the people that wanna be a little more fancy. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, so I'm just to save time here, I'm gonna start in full mount. Now I want you guys going from the beginning, from A to Z, okay? I'm just showing here just to save some time. So I'm starting in full mount right now, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and pin, do everything the same like the arm bar, okay? I'm just gonna pin, and I'm gonna step up, okay? Typically if I have a live opponent, I can get real low, collecting the head, and doing a high mount, nice and scooting it nice and high, pressing the hands down, and then going over. It's a nice technique too, it doesn't work all the time, but this is the primary position you want to be in. Now I'm collecting a wrist always. Okay, I'm not letting go of that. I don't want to touch his hands or anything or grabbing his own knee if I can avoid it. Now, I'm still going to poke off to one side, keeping that foot light so I can swing it around. Okay, I'm getting to here. Okay. Once I'm in the seated position, a lot of guys make the mistake of as they swing around, they fall back right away. And sometimes the guy loses it or comes up in the middle. Now, I like you guys to have more control. You have to go slower. Put your hand down, and just swing it around, real slow, boom, okay. Bonus move. For whatever reason, let's say his hand's through the middle, he's got it all genied up, okay? Or he's, he's tucking it, he's hiding it, whatever, I can't get the arm block for whatever reason. As long as I have one grip on that arm, okay? Should be okay. I gotta make sure that this leg, the one close to the lower part of the body, can go over, the shoulder here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna open up. So you can see his face, I open up. I wanna scoop it, okay? Keeping that arm together, keeping that lock in, okay? I wanna scoop the head and get my foot as far underneath as I can. Basically I'm just gonna chop that in. I'm gonna rotate back, lifting him almost on top of me, and then I'm gonna lock up that foot, getting a nice triangle, okay? I'm gonna show you this next little slice here. Rounding top. Okay, here we go. So, got my guy. Oh, sweep. Full mount. Collect the arms. Boom. Rotate. Here we are. Can't finish for whatever reason. I'm going to open and scoop. So, open, scoop, pulling the head, chop in, lock up. Okay? That's going to end up into a nice little triangle. Just like that. Okay? You can still finish arm bar here. Just because it's a triangle, you don't have to finish triangle. So you guys have a loose triangle, can't finish, can't finish. I don't have to finish this. I can just start bringing the lock down leg, this one, that locks in. I can just bring it over the face and just full, go force the arm bar. And go through and get the arm bar. So you have options there, and I love moves that have options like that, okay? So I want you to practice this, right? And like I said, 10 times each side. That being said, that's gonna be your move for Monday. Uh, keep training. This is really great workout if you just keep on going with it, okay? I'm gonna have some drills for you to do at the end too. So stay tuned.